Bobby. Boy, I'm telling you the truth. I miss all your bad, 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 bad. Boy, are you good? Are you look good? But comrades of labor, I am back. I say, I am back. While I was out, they tried to do something in East Bastia. But comrades, I am back. And East Bastia will not be intimidated at all. I say East Bastia will not be intimidated with a no brand. We will not stand for no brand to try to give an impression in East Bastia. I say thank you to all of you for the many calls and the sympathies that you would have shared. And I said to you, as I said in my recording, that this is not the type of politics we are going to be introducing in St. Kitts at this time. We will not accept that type of politics. And that is why it is important for each and every one of you to remain focused. East Bastia, we will not be distracted. I've come here in Central Bastia to lend my full support to Comrade Masha. I say to you, Central Bastia, Marsha Henderson will be honorable in a few weeks, comrades. I say in a few weeks, no matter how they try to try and try in to delay, they cannot delay the general election. And whenever it is called, the people of St. Kitts will deliver the government to the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party. I said to you, comrades, the enemy is trying all sorts of things. And we are not going to fall for his plans. We are going to remain focused. And that is why I said to you that the battle is not over. Don't get complacent and think we have won. We have to work, comrades. We have to work day and night, even harder than we have done before. And that is why I said to you, no plot that they try to set up will work. The prayer warriors in the Labour Party, they have been on those walls for hours. And they have been declaring victory unto the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party. And no matter what demons surface, we are going to walk on every demon that push itself up in this country. I said to you, get ready. And I've been saying over and over, we don't want no mix up, mix up. I've asked all of you before and I'm going to ask you again tonight. Please give the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party a full mandate to govern. When you look at the team that we are presenting, headed by Dr. Terence Drew, the next Prime Minister, 
God has been a mighty God to the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party. And we are grateful for the A team. And that is what got them so confused. They can't keep public events anymore. They ain't plan to keep no public meeting because you know why. But I say to you, comrades, let us keep our eyes on the voters list. That is the most important equipment that will be needed in this general elections. So I urge you, check the list over and over because they are desperate. And you know, desperate people, they do desperate things. And they are going to try all sorts of things. And just as how we in East Bastia have the eyes of the eagle, I urge each and every one of you to ensure that you sharpen those eyes so that you can see things from a distance. I ask you in the last meeting, this is no time for you to be vexed about nothing. We are not a perfect team. And as a spiritual leader among them, I am going to ask for forgiveness if any one of the candidates before us might have done anything to cause any hurt. I say, forgive us. Don't judge us by those mistakes. This is a new team, a brand new team, a team with the plan, a stable team, one that will make sure that the economy work for all of you. So I say to you, no vex up, vex up now. All you need to be doing is grabbing votes, grabbing votes, votes grab, pull votes. Who go after the votes? Be greedy, my comrades. I've said to you, good night, comrade Cleo. We are the best choice. Candidate by candidate, we outdo all of them. So there is no reason or uh, should be any doubts in uh, your minds. We will uh, deliver for all of you. It is a new day and a better way with labor. And comrades, this is serious time. Never mind the vex face now and again from me. This is serious times. And serious time requires a serious team, a focused team. And we are happy that we have a team, including our defender, Marshall. Marsha will defend for you in Central and you and you and all of you. And I am so happy, comrades, to be a part of this team. Overwhelm to be a part of this A team. And I say to you, that from day one, we are going to start the work. We are not afraid of hard work. All of us have been doing it in our private lives and also in our former workplaces. So you can depend on us. We are going to lift up the boxes. Some of us might even jump in the bulldozer and get to work right away. So I ask you, 
Are you ready for this table team? Comrades of labor, are you ready to give us that chance? All I'm asking this nation is to put their trust and confidence in us as a team. Dr. Joe will deliver because we are all supporting our next prime minister. So comrades, are you ready to deliver on your end? And I say to you, my comrades, I am enjoying the canvassing. The conversations are really moving and touching. And I am able to deliver for East Marcia as I have always been delivering. I don't know what the delay is all about because problems after problems in all the constituencies. But let me zero in on East Bastia. Water problems in Frigate Bay, the Peninsula, and other areas. But you know what is sad about it? We had the plan and we started the work in 2014. The government changed. And what you think they did? They stopped the program. They stopped the project. The company bid. They knew exactly where the water is. They did their testing. But they stopped it. And could you imagine a minister who was responsible for water now talking about they're going to fix the water. But how are you going to fix it when you were in the air for seven years and you did not fix it and you are not returning? So how is that going to happen? Comrades, don't be fooled. I hear them in East Bastia confused as ever. I am going to ensure that the elderly go down the community center as a senior home. But since 2000, I have been saying that. Since 2020, when I became the representative and the candidate, I have said that. But they don't know that we got a program that takes the elderly to the community center. They don't know what's happening in the constituency. And tonight I pause to say thank you to Ms. Batiste from East Bastille, East Street. A single mother, an entrepreneur who is giving up her time to taking care of the elderly. And just as I've said before, I give you the assurance that the elderly will be taken care of not only in East Bastia, but the entire country. It's not too difficult to do these things. I have done it before. I did it on pep, and we are going to do it again. This morning, comrades, while doing my regular visits, taking the pressure of one of my elderly. Listen, let me tell you something. The entire country is ready for labor. The old lady, because I don't discuss politics when I'm taking care of the elderly. She surprised me this morning. Mr. Hanley, have you gotten or have you drank on your bush tea as yet? I said, uh, no. She said, here is your bush tea. One of my workers, I tell you, East Mass, you love me bad, 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 bad. Just to make sure that I take my vitamins and my different stuff. 
They carried it to one of the elderly in my constituency unknown to me. And I get the call, and when I go over, pushing this, you have to drink it. I said, but I could take it home. She said, no, I got the instructions from the young lady. Every day, you must be called, and you should, must see me drink it. I tell you, that is the kind of love and bond I have with the elderly in East Bastille. <laughs> and the elderly, they are waiting patiently on the bell to be rung. Even among them, they are asking me, well, when he going to ring the bell? When he going to ring the bell? Comrades, no matter how we try to hide, he got to ring the bell. Another confused one. Happy go lucky. Try to organize all sorts of things. But we have had domino competition with the Spanish before in East Bastia. That's nothing new. But just to show you how they say out to touch with the constituency. Because they only know paces from the house to the shop, back to the house to the shop, in the vehicle. Never associated themselves with these master people. And now coming under some sort of pretense. The action happening down on Pickyon Street. And hero, come on, hero, come on down to Corn Street. We have some more food and all that kind of stuff. East Bastion hungry. We don't want any food. They know who they're coming up against, you know. I am not taking anything for granted, comrades. I am working even harder than before. Some areas have been there today, and this is my sixth time going. And I'm going to go because I have to ensure that I get all of the ex. No labor person staying home in this election. The only people in East Bastia, and I think I can speak for the rest of them, but you know it's East Bastia. The only people in East Bastia who are not going to the polls to vote for labor or East, the representative would be those who are up at Springfield. Once they are breeding in East Bastia, we bossing, we wheelchairing, we carrying them even with their drips because we have to ensure that in this historic election we give them licks in the east, licks in central, licks in the west and licks all over. Ready, Sometimes they probably think that it's fools they are talking about in East Bastia. You have heard me over and over telling you that I will deliver the brand new Bastia High School to the people. Never mind uh, all the ray ray and the fray fray and the loose money. They could dig off the dirt 3,000 more times. No school building uh, on the water aquifer. So whenever they want to push down more dirt to give somebody some money, they have a lot more to give. Because again, I will deliver the brand new Bastia High School on the old site. But here, here, they went over in Frigate Bay and gave the impression that I plan 
to just paint over the buildings at the old Bassey High School and let the children go in. Well, they think frigate be people foolish. Well, they're more in tune than the government because they're going to ensure that we put an end to this corrupt and greedy bunch. Comrades, you know, when it comes to education, I have outlined my plans, but tonight is Marshall. But I say to you again, I give you the assurance that I will deliver the brand new Bassey High School. We're breaking down everything. And I also said to you that we are going to review any contract that they might have signed. Any contract that they might have signed, we will deliver. I said to you that I'm putting an education board in place. And I am serious. We are also putting in place a revision committee. Because as a new minister, I need to know what is happening. What did not work and what we are to try. So we are going to ensure at an early stage we do that. And I give the teachers the assurance. They had loved me before and they're loving me off even more. I said to you, no written prep. I have started the work and I know exactly where we are going to source our lesson plans from. And I said to the teachers tonight, maybe JJ can help me, but on the stroke of that bell being rung, I said to your teachers, your working time will be 825 to 330, not no 8 to 4 for our teachers. I give you that assurance. If school was non-vocation, I would have said to you from tomorrow, show up for 825. But you are ready on vocation. You can count on us to deliver CFBC being upgraded to a university. It is going to happen. I've had one discussion thus far with a professor from Barbados. I tell you, you're working long time. Now is when we will talk because they can do nothing to change anything. I've reminded you that I am a different politician. I come with a different anointing. I am ready to continue working on behalf of all of the people. I said to all those persons who have said to me, Jeffrey, you know, all these times I have supported Pam. But this time I am giving you a personal vote. I said to them, thank you. And to the others, I invite you to give me that vote to work on your behalf. I will work for you, whether you are PAM, PLP, NRP, CCM. But it is important in this election to support the strongest team. And the team that we have before you, it is the stronger team, a more stable team, a more reliable team. We don't have no corrupt people in the team. No greedy people. And remember, it is them who say it. So I say to you again, comrades, tonight. I am happy to be here to support my sister, Marsha. A powerful woman. One who will ensure that not only her females are taken care of. The males as well. So tonight, comrades, I tell you on Thursday, 
I miss you bad, bad, bad. So tonight, uh, as I hear in Central Bastille, are you ready for labor? Comrades are not hearing you. Are you ready for labor? No matter how much uh, up your back the take, uh, God is bigger than that. Uh, and in number one, uh, you have the shepherd uh, who will lead the people in the right direction. Uh, sheep, sheep, uh, come home. Sheep, sheep, uh, I say come home. Uh, I will protect you from the wolf. Uh, I say, no matter how much money they plan to drop in the constituencies, my God is bigger than that. Fear not, he says. Fear not, because just as how I am with you, he is with us. And in number two, are you ready for martial? Comrades, the labor train has taken off from Pines Garden and we are heading west are you ready to jump with the man for number three comrades you sound good but in number four in number four it is going to be a roar for sure with Samal no matter how they paint up no matter how they pull down our God is bigger than that and he will deliver for us in number four. In number five, Kenny is alive in number five. He got them confused. Every day is a video and they're reading now for the teleprompter. Kenny alive in number five and they could paint it orange. We're going to paint it back. They could paint it any color. We're painting it back. That is a red country. And in number six, we are holding on to the man who will she elects, Dr. Denzel Llewellyn Douglas. And in number seven, in Baker's Corner, I told you, it's three stones that was used to bring Goliath to the ground. You have our leader and you have two able deputies. But the one with the slinger and we tried him the stones. I say, comrades, don't take your eyes off of number seven. In number seven, no matter what play field, they said they give no pop. Even when you got clear your barrel, they give you a farm to get on the pop. Don't be fooled, they can deliver for you. And in number seven, our David in Leon, Nathan Nelson, will bring Goliath to his knees. And come with the flavor. Comrades of labor, I said the train, and it busy, busy, busy. I hear it coming. I say the train coming. The train is coming to station number eight. And I say no weapon, no weapon, no weapon form against our leader will we able to prosper and comrades to top it off we heading down church street free at last free at last thank god almighty they are free at last see you tomorrow in the march don't be afraid don't be afraid i love you east bastia i love you Mwah. Mwah. God bless.